Praise the Lord, church. Um, I want to welcome you again. I want to thank God for allowing us to be here today and uh, to bring word of God again to his people and to those that are watching. If uh, this is your first time, second time, or third time watching, I want to welcome everyone. Um, and I, want, I would like to um, invite you to prepare your heart to uh, listen to this uh, teaching. Um, and, uh, and I know that the Lord is going to bless every single one of us with uh, this teaching today. I want to encourage you to just relax and enjoy it and open your heart to what the Lord has to say, what the Lord has for you today. I want to invite, uh, introduce my brother Pete Griego. He's going to be bringing the teaching or the preaching for today. Uh, brother Pete with us. Praise the Lord. Greetings in the name of the Lord. Once again, we want to thank God for this opportunity, for this privilege to be here, amen, teaching God's Word. Uh, as we get started, we want to go ahead and say a prayer of faith. Uh, we want to continue to pray for those that are, amen, uh, the doctors, the nurses, all the healthcare providers that are working night and day. We want to pray for them that God will continue to strengthen them. We want to pray for those that are, amen, uh, essential workers, for those that are stocking the shelves and uh, deliver, making deliveries at this time. We want to pray for them that God will also uh, bless them and protect them. Amen. As we pray this prayer of faith, we ask you to pray with us. We will also pray or pray for uh, those that are lonely, for those that are isolated, for those that are even perhaps at this time being depressed. Amen. Um, uh, everything is not the normal. So we want to pray for those that are having a hard time with, amen, this uh, staying home and pray for also for those that are sick. Amen. Uh, that they, they get, that they speedily recover from the Lord. Uh, God is doing miracles. We hear of miracles all the time of people recovering. Uh, and pray for those even uh, believe that God can help those that have lost a loved one, uh, a family member, that God will fill the emptiness in their heart. Uh, and uh, we don't want to forget to pray for the leaders. Amen. The, the leaders that are the governors and uh, the mayors, uh, uh, all uh, the leaders the, of this nation, of the world perhaps even, pray for the leaders that God will help them. Uh, their authority comes from the Lord. Their, their government, the government comes from the Lord. That God will uh, enable them to do the right thing, to make the right decisions. Uh, also, and also for the church leaders, okay, that God will... Uh, Bless all the the church leaders, uh, the pastors. Amen. Won't you pray with me? Lord Jesus, Heavenly Father, we come before you this moment. Lord, in Jesus' name, God. Lord, we come before you at this time, God. In these days that we live in, we're praying for your guidance. We're praying for your direction. We're praying for uh, your abilities, God. Lord, we're praying, God, for your mercy, Lord, in Jesus' name. We're praying, Lord, for your healing power. Lord, heal those that are sick and afflicted. Lord, you can do it. I know you can. Lord, heal, heal those that are in the hospital, God. Lord, we pray for those that are at home, God, having a hard time, the battle of the mind, Lord. Lord, they don't know how they're going to... Uh, Go forward, God. But Lord, help them, God, right there where they're at. Your presence in Jesus' name, Lord. Lord, help us to understand. Help us to uh, have a, assurance in you, God. Lord, for those that have lost a loved one, Lord, fill the emptiness in their hearts, we pray, God. Only you can do this, God. Lord, we come to you, God, in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray for the leaders. Uh, the, the church leaders, the spiritual leaders, the pastors, Lord, in Jesus' name, God, the bishops, Lord, 
Lord, help them, God. Give them of your grace, God. Lord, help them to make the right decisions, Lord. Help us, God, to minister to your people in these days, God. Lord, we pray, Lord, for the government leaders. Lord, uh, hallelujah. We pray for the mayors, uh, Lord, the governors, and even, uh, Lord, the, the, the leaders of the nation and of the world, God. Lord, help us, God. More than ever, God, we need your guidance. We need your direction. Lord, you are able to deal with one person, but you are also able to deal with the whole world. In Jesus' name, we pray that you bless this, uh, bless my lips of clay at this time. Lord, that I might be, hallelujah, a blessing to somebody. Remove all uh, the distractions, God. Lord, remove all that doesn't belong in my mind and in my heart, God. Lord, that I might be able to uh, uh, be a blessing to encourage somebody. Lord, anoint my lips of clay. Without you, I can do nothing. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Again, we want to thank God for this time. And today we want to look at uh, our lesson. Amen. It's, uh, to, to, the lesson is an order of detention. Amen. Once again, an order of detention. For this, we would like to read, amen, out of the book of Jeremiah, chapter 6, and verses 16 to help us, and 17. But today, we would like to read, amen, out of the New Living Translation for Jeremiah. And Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 16 reads, This is what the Lord said, Stop at the crossroads and look around. Ask, ask for the old godly way and walk in it. Travel its path, and you will find rest for your soul. Verse 17, I posted watchmen over you who said, listen for the sound of the alarm. But you replied, no, we do not want to pay attention. Amen. So today, um, we want to speak on this subject. Amen. We could, uh, at, at, in, at the beginning here, we, the lesson brings out the book of Jeremiah. The lesson brings out, amen, chapter 6. The Bible says that, amen, or, or our lesson says, as we read the scripture in chapter 6, it's a, a the, uh, the Jeremiah the prophet was living in difficult times. Amen. It was difficult times for the children of Israel. In this chapter and in this book, you can read for yourself, we find that uh, the nation of Israel was... Uh, had failed God, was failing at this time, and failed again and again. Their failure was a rebellion against God. Amen. And, and today, uh, we would like to uh, teach out of this uh, scripture. Um, also, we find in, in this chapter, uh, we find that while they were facing the threat of imminent judgment. Amen. The Lord exhorted them in this chapter, praise the Lord, to, amen, stop. Today, I'm reminded as we look at these scriptures, amen, I'm reminded that these, there's words here, it says, stop, look, ask, amen. And I'm reminded, uh, 
as a young person or we teach young people, I can go back in my mind and stop, look, and listen. When you come to an intersection as a pedestrian, uh, it's very important. They taught us as a child um, to stop, look, and listen. Amen. Because uh, you didn't want to get run over. Amen. Uh, it's a very important uh, life-saving skills. Amen. To stop, look, and listen. Praise the Lord. But also in the Bible. Amen. In the Word of God. Amen. We come to this portion of Scripture where uh, the Lord God Almighty, amen, is coming to the children of Israel and asking them or telling them, stop. Amen. See, today, amen, we need to, we need to, perhaps we need to stop. Amen. See, we need to evaluate. We need to uh, think about where are we going. Amen. Amen. Let me, let me help myself with another portion of Scripture. In Proverbs chapter 14, and verse 12, the Bible reads, There is a way which seems right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Amen. That's why the title is An Order of Detention. Once again, there is a way which seems right unto man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. So today, as we get started, we want to talk about going the right way. Amen. We want to talk about, and if you, if you will, making a correction in our lives. Amen. It's up to us. I read to you where in um, Jane, excuse me, Jeremiah, the prophet, he responded. He, he spoke to the people to ask for the old godly ways and walk therein. Amen. And their response was, no, that's not the road we want to take. Their response was to the watchmen, listen for the alarm. And the response was, no, we do not want to pay attention. Amen. Also for today, we would like to read... In Matthew chapter 7, Matthew chapter 7 and verse 13, the Bible says, Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction and many are they that be which go in their verse 14 but straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life and few there be that find it. Amen. See, today, as we uh, come to you with, in the word of the Lord, in this exhortation, amen. It's a, in the portion of scripture, and it's, it's an exhortation. Amen. Stop. Pay attention. Amen. Look around you. Which way are you going? What is the end of the path that you are taking? Amen. This is a very heartfelt lesson. Amen. But it is necessary. Amen. It is necessary. 
Amen. Uh, we need to uh, evaluate once again. We need to make corrections. Uh, we need to pay attention to the Spirit of the Lord. We need to pay attention to the ministry of the Holy Spirit. We also need to pay attention to the Word of God. Amen. In many of my lessons uh, throughout these weeks, I've been talking about that this is God's Word, that this is the divine Word of God, that this is what we need. I made reference that this is the manna from heaven. Amen. But at the same time, that means we need to pay attention. It's more than just reading it. It's uh, obeying the word of God. It's following the scriptures. Amen. Amen. It's uh, applying these words in our life, applying these scriptures in our hearts. Amen. Applying what we learn. Amen. God's ways versus man's ways. God's ways versus our ways. Amen. See, today, amen, we need to stop. We need to look around. Amen. We need to be careful. It's, uh, it's not an easy thing, praise the Lord. There are so many distractions. Amen. There are so many, uh, uh, we are faced with uh, what's right in front of us. What I'm talking about is the urgency. We are faced with um, important matters. Amen. If I could put it this way, sometimes do we need to take care of what's important? We have to choose between taking care of what's important and what's urgent. Praise the Lord. See, I would like to take care of what's important, but we tend to take care of what's urgent. See, today we, uh, we need to be careful with, amen, our perspective. We need to be careful with what we see, amen. See, today there are many uh, decisions that we make. It's like if uh, this lesson, if you will, amen, is the alarm, the alarm, the Lord is sounding the alarm. You're going the wrong way. He's sounding the alarm. That path leads to death. Amen. That's an alarm. But like in the morning, we need to be careful because in the morning, what do we do when the alarm sounds? We have a choice. We could either, when the alarm goes off to get up in the morning, get out of bed. Or we hit the snooze. Or we just turn it off altogether. See, today we need to be careful that when the Lord is bringing an alarm to us, that we do not just ignore his advice. We do not ignore his Holy Spirit. We do not ignore, amen, his message. Today the Lord has a message for us. Amen. The message is pick the right road. Pick the right path. Amen. That is the message. Amen. The message is you're on the wrong road. Pick, stop. See, stop. And pick the right road. Praise the Lord. See, today we are uh, so busy. We are so occupied. Amen. Like I said, in the time of this scripture, it was a, a difficult time. I believe today we are in a difficult time. Amen. And we need to uh, uh, allow the word of God, allow the spirit of the Lord to minister to us. I even in this difficult time. Amen. Even in these times of making decisions, uh, should we listen to the government or not? Should we listen to our hearts or not? Amen. Should we listen to the advice? Amen. But here today, uh, the advice that we're talking about is the word of God. Amen. See, as we can just stop, but that's not enough. We need to stop. We need to make a correction. 
Amen. The problem is that we have a lot of independence. We, we are the problem. Amen. But today, we need to stop once again. And then what? Amen. We need to see. Praise the Lord. He said, stop and see. Amen. He says also, he says uh, to ask. Praise the Lord. Ask. Ask from God. Ask the Holy Spirit. Ask in the scriptures the right path, the godly path. Ask. The Bible says that those that, that seek shall find. Those that ask shall receive. Those that knock, it shall be opened unto them. Praise the Lord. I am encouraged today. Amen. It's not enough just to stop, but we need to ask. We need to ask God for the right path. Once again, if you ask, you shall receive. Amen. If you seek, you will find. If you knock, it will be opened unto you. See, we have plenty of scriptures or events where um, we see on the day of Pentecost, 3,000 were saved because they asked on the day of Pentecost. Nicodemus is another example they came to the Lord and asked throughout the scriptures. Saul of Tarsus had an encounter with the Lord, with Jesus Christ. And he asked, who art thou? Amen. I am saying you can have an encounter with the Lord. Your first encounter and many more. And another example. Amen. I don't know if I can say my favorite but it's the Philippian jailer. Amen. After the earthquake, after the doors were open. Amen. Let me, let me just turn real quick. Amen. To Acts. Amen. Chapter 16. It's just a, a short verse. Acts chapter 16. Amen. Oops. Praise the Lord. In verse 30, after the earthquake and the commotion, amen, the jailer, and I wanted to read it out of the Bible, it says, and the jailer brought them out, Saul, Paul, excuse me, Paul and Paul brought them out and said, sirs, listen to what he said, what must I do to be saved? He had seen a miracle. Paul did not escape. But anyways, the miracle. Many a times we, we, we are faced with no doubt this was of God. A healing. An intervention. You, I don't have to uh, describe it to you, but you know your uh, encounter with the Lord. A healing, a blessing, uh, 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 whatever it might be. And that was your encounter with God. And be like the jailer, what must I do to be saved? He asked, and him and his house were saved, praise the Lord. See, today, amen, there is a, a, a rebellion, but there's an answer. There is sin, but there is an answer. Amen. There's God's way, praise the Lord. Today, Amen. As we consider the scriptures, Matthew eleven thirty. Excuse me, eleven. Yes, thirty says. Jesus saying, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Praise the Lord. 
See, walking with the Lord is not always the most easy, the most comfortable. Walking, taking the Lord's route is the most, not the most easiest or comfortable to the flesh. But Jesus said, my yoke is easy. It's still a yoke, but I'd rather have the Lord's yoke than the devil's yoke. He said, my burden is light, still a burden. Amen. But I'd rather have a burden from the Lord. Amen. Than the devil's burden or the flesh's burden. Amen. He said, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Let's uh, take the Lord's route. God bless you. Praise the Lord, church. That is, uh, I want to encourage um, every one of us to, to choose the Lord. If you're, if you're a guest, if you've been watching your first time, second time, third time, I want to encourage you to um, ask yourself these questions. Is there a truth? And I tell you, yes, there is a truth of God. Ask and you shall receive. If you ask the Lord to show you the truth, he will show it to you. But then you're going to have to act when the Lord answers you. What are you going to do? Do you just want to know if there's a truth? Or are you going to follow the truth that God, the truth of God? Ask and you shall receive. I want to encourage you to meditate on the scriptures. I want to encourage you to meditate throughout the week. Um, and ask God to give you understanding and continue to get closer to Him. And you, you will be blessed. You will receive a blessing in your heart and continue to watch, continue to get closer to God. And God is going to continue to bless you, to give you more understanding of His Word. I want to encourage all the congregation to continue to worship and praise the Lord in your homes. I want to... Uh, uh, remind you to pray for all the leadership or pray for for everyone that that we may soon be here in, in the Lord's house worshiping and honoring him in his house we leave you with this in the name of Jesus God bless everyone amen